reviewing shark. Um, so normally I'm not going to be doing videos like these anymore, unboxings, but I thought, I wasn't able to collect the whole series, but I was, <laughs> I don't know why I cannot speak today, but I was able to collect three out of four. So I had, I have most of the series, so I thought I would just review it because, well, I'm going to do gameplay on the Switch here. I'm going to be playing Pokemon Sword. Uh, you can see this setup I have in the background. But sorry that I'm wearing no microphone today. It's just to make it easier because um, since I have to have a cable running up to my iPad to charge it. Or use your drop and stuff. <laughs> so um, it's just harder to have a headset also. Yeah, add two wires and it'll just be very chaotic. So I just decided not to use a microphone. But today I'm going to be reviewing the latest series of the Bending Ink Machine action figures. I got these in California. I don't know if that was good, but... It seemed like Walmart and GameStop is where I found most of these, but Target is another place I shop at. I wasn't really able to find much there. Um, also, for the first figure I'm going to do is on Bendy, but we also have this old Bendy. I know you're probably saying, what happened to his face? Well, you know those little slime tubs? I don't know if you guys know what they are, but they're the Bendy and Lake Machine thing that come with slime and a little head. But when I put mine in my little, um, what are they, like these cube drawer things, it broke open and it spilled all over my action figures. And now some of them just have that stain on them. But luckily, uh, some of them were in those Ziploc bags, so I don't lose those seriously small accessories. So it didn't damage some of them, like this one. I don't think got damaged. Yeah, oh, it's about to be now. But, yeah. So I'm going to do the first review on Bendy, and also I have a picture of Bendy that I'm going to bring up to show you why you should get this one. And if you haven't gotten this one already, don't buy this one unless you prefer this design more. I recommend this guy, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Right, so if we look at the image from the end game, we could see, well, yeah, like they're doing these with most of the figures. Like they would turn out white like this, like I think they made a Sammy Lawrence. That was white, but now they added, which I'm going to review because this is in this series. They made him yellow to fit more of that because the game is not black and white. It's black and yellow and white, I guess. There's different colors, but if we see the in-game picture, you could see the um, he has one big a glove on his hand. And I'm pretty sure in-game he has two dots on it. And also you could kind of, if I get a zoom in on here, you, sometimes on the other side you can see that there's ink stains. So just keep that in mind. This figure, oh hold on, let me pull up the picture again. Remember how he has a small hand that doesn't have a glove on it. He has that normal hand right here. And even, they even added some of the like knuckle detail like that. And then the giant glove, what I, it's three fingers, or three fingers and one thumb, so that's pretty good. The ink stains are on spot, and the two buttons they even added there. Even a third, I don't know. This one can actually stand pretty good too, so I recommend this guy. Um, then we always, oh, that's cool, his shadow on the wall. But then this guy who has two gloves, zero ink stains, is has this like white and black stick, opposed to this one which is yellow and black. And I, I kind of prefer this guy's um, devil horns more. If they would have raised this up a tiny bit, made it look a little sharper, because this guy, it goes in more. Honestly, I, I don't really mind that. And the neck and everything is pretty pretty on spot. And especially that ink design on the chest where you can see it moving, they really copied that here, especially in the light. You can see that. And the shoe is just two giant ink. So that's our one smaller one. They didn't really do that too much here, but they did do the ink, so that's, and they made it flat and bar number. So he could stand up pretty well, I like that. Also, a little thing, I think comes on all figures, he has like these weird things that bulge out around his body. But a thing they didn't have to add, which they did, is the spine. Which just makes him really creepy. Also more lettering. Bias, but, but, most so far, I recommend that figure awesome. But like, I'm just gonna set him down for now. Okay. But this figure is just, just looking by the picture, as you can see. There's a lot of things they got right. And also, there's a lot of things they did wrong. I like, I prefer the other one because, you know, it 
kind of resembled him more. Oh, the bird's falling. <laughs> I got her talons trimmed today, so she she literally cannot climb on anything. It's sad. But you can see how wide they made the head, and I think they did that right. For some reason, the another thing that made me buy this is how short they made the head in the smile, so it just made it look creepy. Also, I, I like how they did the ink drip there. I, I thought that was really good here. I'm gonna get a close up on it. Whew. You can kind of see how well they did that. On um, this one, uh, it's okay. But I, don't know, I still don't really prefer it. But And the bow tie, this one, they got it almost spot on. I mean, look, just the coloration. But you know, honestly, I don't mind if they miss a couple like if you look on the bow tie, there's a couple marks and stuff. I don't care if they miss that. But this guy, I think he did it pretty well. Except this is more of like a longer bow tie. They added the marks, which is cool. But they just made this one a little longer. It's supposed to be like a little more straight. So they got this on that figure. So honestly, I prefer this guy. But I don't know what you guys think. Especially in his chasing form, where he has one hand reaching out. And on the hand back, I think it looks pretty well on this figure. But one more thing that makes this guy might make it a little better is the articulation. His legs can go out like that. They could twist back or the bend like here. Most of the figures can do these, and he can even spin fully around. I just knocked him over. You know, the articulation is pretty good. You got the feet spot actually right on this one. Not no sad. He just almost broke his foot. But, um,. I don't know why Google Maps is open. Huh. But, yeah. And also they got the ink dripping off his face. I like that feature. But, yeah. Let's try to do the chasing pose with this guy. A little difficult, but, yeah, I, I don't think that's very bad. It's cool. I'm gaming. And now it's time to review his accessories. See you with that. Bam. All right. So I had to zoom in because these are really small, but first off we have a gent pipe and a little spoiler alert here A character, I'm not gonna say you guys probably already know, came with a gent pipe already It's in the series too, so I'll review it too You can see this one, I think also this one, a lot of them is sort of had the stuff peeling off of it It doesn't have the gent logo and literally every single figure that tries to hold it it like slips out of their hands and it jiggles a lot and eventually falls out. But this one, still kind of like that, but it fits better on some of the more human characters and not the ink demon. So, came with a pretty nice jet pipe. I think it's kind of cool. Same thing on the back, nothing in the pipes. Mm, pretty cool. And then we got, oh wait, I'm sorry, one. <laughs> Uh, there are two in the series. And, um, oh great, we found it. I was about to go, oh great, did my bird lose it? But she pushed off the table. She was looking at it still. But, so I think this might be glue or something. I have no idea, don't ask me. But, it's kind of cool, it's got a little screw on cap. Uh, it's supposed to be that, but I wonder if I can actually do it. No, it can't. Just plastic, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to do that in game. And it also comes with this nice kind of here. I'm, I'm just gonna get a zoom up on it. There we go. Let's get it nice and close. All right, it's got like bendy face, like the normal bendy, but like a little scribble. There we go. And then it looks like paint brushes crossing it out. It's gonna go. Oh gosh. And then it falls onto the floor. Right here. Let me get that really fast. Ooh. Reviewing stuff difficult. Oh, Alright. Got that. And for our second figure. There we go. There we go. So for our second figure, I am gonna do the figure on Sammy Lawrence. First I'll tell you this already, I freaking love this figure. I don't know. There's something about this in the original beta of the game. When you see Samuel Lawrence walking into the room before he sacrifices you to Bendy, and you see this exact shot, the side of his head, they perfectly reenacted that. Or just kind of like him looking through the mask, they perfectly did that. They even added an ears to him. Um, 
and you can see the mask is kind of going into his eyes. You guys see that? It's a feature that I just noticed, but I'm pretty sure it's just to make the mask stick on there. But let me tell you, when I first got this figure, it goes in like this, and his face doesn't attach, just like straightforward. It kind of curves in to make it look like he has an actual head. But he, like noticing that, I feel like the mask will just fall off. Also, the demon ear kind of came off. I like that. It's supposed to do that. Pretty sure it's like that in-game. Hold on. Right, I'm, I'm sure you're ready some editing magic. Damn, yeah, look at that. Look how clear that was. <laughs> but, you yeah, know, I was able to find this picture. So, yeah. Also, I noticed, or noticing this, that they did a lot of figures, like the Alice toy. I'll, I think I'll throw up a picture right now. So, it looked like that crappy design, but then you sometimes see this in stores. I have to... Oh, that scared me. Yeah, okay, sorry. We have people working on my neighbor, um, neighbor's house outside my house, and it sounds like someone's walking up the stairs really heavily. It scares me every time. I've been working on it for about a couple of days, but seriously, it sounds like someone marching up my stairs. Oh my gosh, it's just shaking my room. It scares me. But yeah, so I'm going to throw up a picture of the one I have because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to do this, but whatever. Here we go. Looks like that. It looks almost better. Still doesn't really look like Susie Campbell. Maybe I'll do that later this episode of what it, what it's missing. But um, for the picture here, you can clearly see his shoes. He got this ink on them and this patch. If he didn't add the patch, I'm fine with that, you know. But what well, the part that annoys me, which is getting back to that Alice Angel design I showed you, with you know how the the crappy one didn't have any of the ink on it, and then the better one. Had all the ink on it. I didn't actually paint that. You literally you can go to your supermarket and get it. But just most of the time you find them, it's going to be the crappy one. And even they're advertising the crappy one, which is weird. But is that if you look carefully, you can see the outline of what the ink's supposed to be there. Here, I'm going to see if I can bend his foot real fast. Let's see. Tell me if you can see it. Here, just in case this lighting is not good enough for y'all, I'm going to freaking use my flashlight. Because it takes... It, Really hard to see. Oh, I just hit my camera. Yeah, this is very difficult. Yeah, I think it made it worse, but oh, there you can kind of see it on him. You could just see where uh, the more ink could be. Because I like here. Let me grab the plushie real quick. I'm gonna do a full review on the plushies, but here I got this Sammy Lawrence plush. And first off, it's huge. But you can see they added that ink, which made it, and also the patch. So it made it look like he's been walking around exploring the studio. Also, that he's currently stuck in the T-pose. There we go. But, you know. I just got the Meatly logo. Here, can I get it? No, actually, it's Fat Mojo. Never mind. But, yeah. But, here, I'm going to show you some of the hand gestures real quick first. The hands can fully spin, which is nice. He has this weird, like, blowing a kiss kind of hand. And then he's got the hand, which also can twist. I'm pretty sure this is for, um, almost like vehicles. No, it's for, um, what do you call them? Accessories. Like, he came with his axe, yes. I like this one because, you know, it's yellow, kind of like the end game, and the other one was white. But he can't really hold his axe. Most of the characters can't because it's too thin. Also, for some reason, since it's too thin, some of them are scraping them because they fall down. Like you can kind of hold it, but once it gets, once you tap it a little, it'll like start to slide down. I start scraping it, so my paint start coming off. But the axe is super nice. Like I really am digging this. But I think it's because uh, my paint started chipping off, which you could definitely feel it. Um, so that might affect the figures holding it. I don't know, maybe it's just my same Lawrence. Maybe you could like squeeze the fingers in there or something. And he would be better to grasp it, but that's pretty cool. Okay, we kind of have to rip it out, but that's probably why the paint's coming off. But they also added that nice ink effect on his chest and his back, which is kind of cool. And not on his head. He bald, though. Also, there's a lot of uh, 
plastic chipping off. His arms can do this though. I don't know why there's circles under his arms, but if you twist them like this, it's kind of cool. Also, I forgot another thing. The bendy shield. That was nice. But it has a weird feeling to it. It's pretty much just a classic bendy cardboard cutout. But they, it's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be a cardboard cutout. You can stand up pretty neatly. Neatly. But yeah, they call it the bendy shield, which I'm like, first off, these two in game, you hit them, disappear, and then it reforms. But, it keeps scaring my gosh, it keeps me nervous. But, I, know, I just don't see if you could break that easy in game. Why? Why would you try to use it as a shield? I just don't get that. And then, for our next figure. Well, actually, I'm a little, a little quick break, kind of. I want to show you some, you know, the, what do you call them, blind bag, the dangler, backpack dangler things. I was able to get a gold one, and then the first one I got was a bendy version of the ink. I know it's like the same thing, but it's more has that smaller body. They got the buns on. This one's, let me see, it's pretty accurate. The head, I'm pretty sure it's way too thing. It just makes it look kind of weird. But I'd say it's pretty accurate. They got he's wearing shoes though. Or shoes. Or I'm, not, I'm not sure. He's not supposed to wear shoes. I don't know. Does the Inky Man wear shoes? I don't think he does. I think in the original version he wore a giant slipper or something. Also the tag say Benny and the Dark Revile. Which is the new game. These are from that game. Spoiler. <laughs> but this is Ink Audrey, the character I'm about to review. It's the last character. It's a gold one. She also has a giant hand like Bendy. But an action figure, she doesn't have that. It's cool don't feel like since this one i can't, not really cheated on it but i went into the store i found this bag it was already partially opened so my bad i took my flashlight peeked in and i saw this i'm pretty sure like literally just like that and i'm like i gotta get it it's only 4.99 it's not too much i could afford several more but the new character is ready it's gonna appear in my hand ready let's do it um, look at that. I had to shake it, but this is Ink Audrey. And first off, finally got a human figure. <laughs> well, partially human. I, I don't know. The game hasn't come out yet. But also, I know that, te that technically the ink machine was already a playset, but they've been adding these holes onto some of the figures. And most of you know, they're called pegs, peg holes. So what you do, there's like a little thing sticking up at the ground, and you'd set it there so it would hold them still. Which means maybe in the future, we might be getting an actual giant set. It's kind of cool. The hands fully twist, and I kind of like the part, it's like half of her is just ink. Like you can see, for some reason, this little squirrel thing in her hand. Which I'm pretty sure in the trailer, she, when she runs up to someone and grabs it, or I think she did it to one of the butcher gang, they like disappeared thinner. But, I don't know, it's kind of cool. You can also find that swirl in the game and the Meatly said that the Benny and the Dark Revival is not going to be a prequel or a sequel and spoiler alert if you haven't seen the final chapter which you should have Bendy you know the Ink Demon dies but in this new game I heard the Ink Demon is still in it which means it takes place as the time as Benny and the Ink Machine so it's just from a different perspective also Allison is in it so we're gonna see what she's doing in the first couple chapters and the ink makes Audrey look like she's kind of having a glove, or has a glove on. It's pretty cool. And then you can see, which maybe just a shirt she wears, but maybe this is like the Benny and Ink Machine uniform for the workers. And then, I don't know if black pants, or it's just probably the ink. And then, completely black shoe, and this time we can see a little bit more skin on the shoe. And ink spider, which is kind of cool. And then the face. This is where things get pretty cool. Has that, I don't know if that's, I don't know, 90s, 80s? I don't know, it's just weird haircut. And then we get black lipstick and then these glowing eyes. Which, how? First, I also get ink dripping off her face. Which, I mean, does that remind you of someone? But, I don't know why there's glowing eyes. I have no idea. Maybe they couldn't really do the eye design, so I just made it glow. Also, I'm pretty sure in the new game we're going to have to actually digest food, which is interesting. We get a water bottle, same exact design as the glue, let's see if I could, there we 
it. Green. It's pretty much the same exact thing. It's a little different. But then I get this, I told you. And that's it. Oh my gosh, it almost hit my bird. <laughs> but, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, a comment, subscribe. And maybe I'll do the Allison video and the next time this video is only two minutes. But we're trying to make it too long. Well, it's not two minutes actually. It's just the time I was recording this. But if I'm asking you guys, if you want me to play a game, just request it and I'll almost 100% try to do it. Promise. I'm not, I promise. I don't know. But. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everyone.